valuation information model is the uh, VM valuation. This class includes four characteristics, four attributes. The first attribute is the VU ID, the valuation unit ID. The second characteristic is the valuation unit type, which valuation unit types, which are the which can be the land parcel, building, land property, or condominium property, or other types of valuation units. And we have the neighborhood type characteristics in this valuation unit class, which can be the urban, suburban, or rural. And lastly, we have the utility services, which utility services that have access of have access to valuation information. For example, water, electricity, gas, uh, telecommunication, like that. Second class of the model is is valuation unit group, which clusters the valuation unit according to zones or types of valuations that have similar functional characteristics. A valuation unit group can be a municipality or a neighborhood. Evaluation can be a commercial properties in a, a municipality, residential properties in the Netherlands, for example, can be evaluation unit group. These groups can is used in mass valuation of properties or uh, publishing the sales statistics about the uh, uh, transaction prices or valuation results. The third class is a spatial unit, which specifies the cadastral parcels and sub parcels. This class has uh, three characteristics. One is the spatial units, valuation spatial unit ID. Second and third one, and second and third one is the plant land use and current land use of the spatial valuation spatial units. Is made different from the LA spatial units because the some parts of the spatial units or the collection of some spatial units can be have some different values. The third class is the VM building. This class contains the physical characteristics that are used in the proper physical characteristics of buildings that are used in the property valuation processes. Uh, this class includes, for example, building use type. This can be residential, residential, ag agricultural, industrial, office, trade, public services, or retail. This list can be is extended in inspired inspire data specification on buildings. This classification also can be used in the developed country profiles, developed uh, implemented databases. The second characteristics in the VM building class is the building area and building volume. Since the ISO LADM is an LADM is an ISO standard, and the ISO have a uh, area uh, standards ISO nine six nine eight three six standard is a property area measurement standards. Therefore, we use these standards to extend uh, LADM for valuation purposes. These standards defines four different uh, area, floor area type in buildings, total floor area, intramuros area, net floor area, and usable area. Total floor area includes all walls. Net floor area includes the area inside the walls of the buildings and the usable area is for the net usable floor area in a building for example if you have a radi radiator on the wall you cannot use those areas those areas are uh, extracted from the net floor area and you can use usable floor area the other uh, characteristics of characteristics included in VM buildings are the energy performance value, construction material type, facade material type, heating system type, and the heating system source. 
all these code lists are derived from the Inspire data specification on buildings and CGML buildings. These code lists are created using those standards. The other characteristics included in the VM buildings and class are the number of floor, number of dwelling, um, and I think building age. The next class is the condominium unit. The condominium unit represents the main, main condominium units, the apartments and their physical and legal characteristics. So we have again the condominium unit area here, the accessory part of condominium, which can be a garage, a shop, a laundry, number of room of a condominium unit, the floor number of the condominium units, share in joint facilities of the condominium units, which shows the uh, sh which shows the share uh, on land parcels of the owners and new types is also included in this uh, condominium unit class. The next class is the valuation. The valuation class defines the input and output data in valuation processes. This class have valuation date. This valuation date is very important for all kind of uh, property valuation. But we have some different value types that we obtained from the uh, questionnaire that we distributed to FIG members of different countries. One can uh, appeal the property values so you, we can also have an attribute for that here is the appeal status status of appeal if you one can appeal the uh, property value you can accept it in decision or rejected values can be used to uh, show the status of appeal the other characteristics in the VM valuation is the VM valuation approach. Mainly the, the, these three uh, approaches is used in most of the uh, valuation processes, cost approach, income approach, and sales comparison approach. We have different uh, classes for each valuation approach. For example, in sales comparison approach, class documents the comparable units used in comparison approach and the monetary adjustments made, made for the sale prices. For example, you can select some comparable uh, units to uh, specify the value of a specific property, but it, it may be uh, built in different year it may located in a different uh, area. Its physical uh, features are not same as the valued properties. These adjustments are done and the estimated value of the uh, one property can be determined in this sales comparison approach. In the second approach, cost approach, this class organizes the cost method related data. In this approach, we use some building characteristics to uh, estimate the cost. We use the cost price per square meter and we use the total floor area of a condominium unit, effective age of the condominium unit, and some of the obsolescence of the buildings. For example, building has, have, may have some physical obsolescence, some functional obsolescence, and some external obsolescence. We, after the, these obsolescence are determined uh, the 
the main formula is like that. You use the cost price per square meter and deduct the obsolescence values and you estimate the, how can what is the replacement cost or reproduction cost of the same property if you build this property in this year in the valued year for example you can value the property in 2023 so you can use the cost price per square meter for 2022 the other approach is the income approach in this approach we the gross and net incomes and the capitalization and discount rates are used. Uh, gross income multiplier are determined. Discount rate of the income approach are determined. Operational expenses are specified. Uh, the gross income are specified. And after all this, uh, Characteristics are used. We can determine the income approach. We can use the income approach to determine property values. The income approach is generally used in used to value properties that have no sale prices. Gener this approach generally used to uh, retails. Uh, general re retails and maybe the uh, agricultural uh, parcels, the income approach is generally used. The mass valuation, the other class of the model, the mass valuation is the process of valuing a group, a group of properties as a given of date using the standard methods, employing common data and allowing for statistical testing. This class has three four characteristics the first characteristics mathematical model if you if you want to use massive page you should have a mathematical model in this mathematical model you you can use different types of analysis for example multiple regression analysis can be used to uh, create this mathematical model artificial nature nat natural network can be used time series analysis can be used in the mass appraisal model you can uh, you may the other characteristics in the mass appraisal class is the perf performance indicator this performance indicator used to evaluate the performance of the mass appraisal there are some kind of metrics to uh, evaluate the performance of mass appraisal processes, for example, sample size of the mass appraisal, uh, appraisal level of the mass appraisal, appraisal, appraisal uniformity, for example, appraisal uniformity can generally, as an appraisal uniformity, uh, generally coefficient of disper dispersion or coefficient of variation is used for the measure of appraisal to measure the appraisal level, general mean, median, or weighted mean, weighted mean uh, values can be used. In the model, we have transaction prices. In this class, we record the type of transactions. A transaction can be open market sale, inheritance, forced sale, family sale, voluntary sale, exchange, or uh, transaction made by a court decision. Transaction price class has a relationship with the sales statistics class. The sales statistics class records the uh, basic price related statistics of generally, generally the transaction prices, generally the selling prices. This can be seen as an index, index of sale prices. Generally, all countries uh, publish annually uh, sales uh, statistics. Uh, for example, residential residential property indices are published every year in the Netherlands by the statistical organization CBS. The last class of the model is the valuation source. This 
this class is created for the for represent the sources of valuation, for example, valuation reports and declaration documents. So this is the full version of the model. The green classes show the uh, created classes for the valuation information model, and the gray classes show the uh, core classes of LADM. And you can see the relationship between the LADM valuation information model and the LADM valuation information model classes and the classes of the core LADM. Abdullah, short question. Eh? Yesterday, I also gave a short introduction, a brief introduction to the model, and I was wondering uh, why is uh, the relation between valuation unit and valuation group not more an aggregation? Eh? So, use aggregation between building and, and the condominium. So would that not make sense to also to have an aggregation there? Yes, it can be, aggregation can be used. Actually, I create uh, the part whole relationship in the valuation unit and valuation unit group. Actually, the association relationship, uh, the aggregation relationship is a kind of association relationship. Uh, it can be an aggregation, but I, I think we part whole, if we can express this part whole parts, we yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and, and a second short question, and then I stop interrupting is uh, you had a share which you are representing with a decimal value, the data type. So there was a share, and yeah. would it not be? more natural to have a fraction there? Yes, you definitely agree. Definitely agree with professor, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Fraction okay. is more suitable type, but ISO basic types, ISO 19103 do not have the fraction data type. So I we use the decimals there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, please go ahead. Yes, I will try to be fast for this last two sections, the country profiles of LED evaluation information model. First, I will try to summarize the valuation practice in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, every year, up, approximately 9 million properties are annually valued for levying taxes and for other governmental purposes. The was value of the properties are determined every year. This was value is equal to market value. And this was value is used uh, all types of uh, activities that needs valuation proper property values. The property valuation of property valuation for public purposes is regulated the Space, spatial acts for real estate assessment. This act authorizes all municipalities to assess the value of immobile properties, and it is mandatory for the public organization to use these assessed values for various purposes. The Council for Real Estate Assessment is an independent governmental organization that supervises the municipalities on the implementation of the act and monitors the quality of real estate property assessment. This council do not make any uh, valuation, but check the performances of the municipalities, supervises the municipalities to implement this tax. And they only check the final results. The was value is primarily, the was value is Primarily, the real, the real market value of the real, the real estate property on a given date. For the was value, the definition of TEGOA, the market value definition of TEGOA is used. This definition is that the estimated amount for which the property should exchange on the dates of the valuation between a willing buyer and willing seller uh, in an arm's length transaction. The, this arm's length means uh, parties are not related to each other. 
uh, and they are acting in independently. And I will continue the definition. The after proper marketing, wherein the parties had acted acknowledgeably, prudently, and without being under compulsion, compulsion. This is the use definition. The was value based on this definition of Tegoa. The was values of valuations have been assessed annually since 2007. For the annual property valuation, evaluation that lays one year, one year period to the current year is being used. For example, the value, the was value of 2018 is based on the real estate market on the assessed value for the year 2018 is based on the real estate market on 1 January, the, the 1st of January 2010. 17. In the Netherlands, different mass appraisal techniques are used. Uh, mass, uh, com computerized valuation models, the com computer aided mass appraisal is used to determine those values. And the, these three approaches, valuation approaches, is used. Sale comparison, income, and cost approaches is used to create a mass appraisal models. The misappraisal models generally created by the municipalities, private firm, and universities collaborate for des uh, designing the misappraisal models. In the Netherlands, the multiple regression analysis are used, the statistical clusters are used, the case-based reasoning are used to create the uh, misappraisal models, mathematical misappraisal models. So, Right hand side, you can see a valuation report in the Netherlands. This valuation report has the address part, the cadastral information part, the building object characteristics parts, the market data part, the sales date, sales price, the special circumstances about the market data, and the comparables information, the, the characteristics of comparables. Um, all the owners and users of immovable properties are annually informed about the VOS values. A tax bill is sent out in a paper from the official mailbox of taxpayers. And starting from 2016, VOS values or for residential properties are publicly available on the web for all type of uses. The web-based VOS Weaver was introduced not only for showing the value of single residential properties, but also the characteristics of residential properties. For example, address of the property, uh, construction year, intended use of the property, surface area of the property are also presented in this VOS Weaver. In 2000. And six, it was decided to design a property valuation register as a part of system of K register in the Netherlands. So the K register for assessed values, assessed values uh, was designed according to the special acts for the real estate assessment. This register mainly consists of both value, valuation dates, valuation objects, and legal persons designated by the municipality as interested party. And this K register for assessed values has relationship with other base registers. You can see in the slides the basic relationships. The valuation register at the middle of the figure. Valuation register has a direct relation with cadastral register, building register, companies register, firm registers, and the person registers and the indirect relationship with the address registers. Address registry is uh, related to building and building registry is related to valuation, um, valuation registry. So in this table, you see the which uh, information is derived from 
which registries, for example, the K register of, from the K register of cadastre, the parcel number, size of uh, parcel, municipality of property, ownership information, selling prices and selling dates, selling dates are obtained from the K register of address and buildings, the date of construction, size of building, status of building, 3D geometry of the building is obtained. And again, the address, geometry, size of occupants units, and the use types of the occupants units are obtained from the K register of address and addresses and buildings. From the K register of large scale topography, the date of construction, size of buildings, surface areas, the footprint areas are obtained. And from the personal records database, the taxpayers' information are obtained. We use this information to uh, extend the LADM valuation information model and create and create the LADM country profile of the model. So you can see the orange classes represent the uh, Netherlands country profile classes. The LA prefixes white classes show the core LADM classes, and the VM prefix and the vanilla classes shows the LADM evolution information classes. I will show a few example. For example, the VOS parcel and al VOS parcel class is defined as a subclass of VM spatial units. And VOS object is defined as a subclass of VM valuation unit for because the VOS object in the Netherlands, the basic valuation units in the Netherlands is the VOS object. Uh, VOS building is defined as a subclass of VM building class. And this VOS building class has relationship with the VOS occupants unit. So we can, uh, the LAD emulation information model fits to represent the uh, current station for the current station in the Netherlands for the objects of valuations. You can see in that view that. Uh, in the Netherlands, some kind of other building area types are used. Uh, NAN 25AT standard is used to uh, measure the floor areas in the properties, in the building units. So we extend the building area type code list with this uh, drive, this uh, code list values, the gloss floor area defined by NAN standard is different than the I, different than the gross floor area defined by the uh, ISO standard. So we, we extend the VM building area type with the NL building area type code list. In the LADM evolution information model, there is only one class to represent the value, value the valuation sources, but in in the Netherlands they have more detailed models about to represent the uh, valuation sources. For example, uh, in the UML model of the valuation registry database, valuation reports has a different class, has a different class. So this class is defined as a subclass of the valuation source. This valuation reports and class includes some basic information derived from the valuation report, for example, date of report, uh, the report ID. So we extend the core LADM valuation information model with this NL valuation report class in for the Netherlands country profile. The LADM valuation information model can be extended with country specific situation in property evaluation in order to represent current state of property evaluation processes, which we done this for the uh, Netherlands. 
or to determine to specify the plans for the preferred evaluation system. For example, if one country uh, planning to create a new evaluation system, you can design a country profile for that using this using the uh, LED evaluation information model. This the developed and Netherlands country profiles fit very well to represent evaluation processes in the Netherlands. And the Netherlands has a complete and effective property evaluation system. So it may be included that the developed evaluation information model provides a solid and decent base to for extending the for structuring and modeling the property evaluation information. Actually, there are some other countries are also developed some country profiles. For example, to represent the current situation in the property evaluation processes in Turkey, the con Turkish country profile of the uh, model is developed. This is a bit different than the uh, uh, Netherlands country profile because in Turkey there is no mass valuation. Mass valuation is not used to uh, determine the property values. Instead, uh, the Um, municipalities determined the determined uh, basic unit values for each streets and these basic uh, this determined values of the street is used to uh, calculate the value property values the other country profile is developed for the Croatia. This profile is also developed to uh, represent current situation in the Croatia, current situation in valuation processes in Croatia. They also include some, a few more classes, a few more attributes. Uh, they concluded that they should extend their current uh, information model with some extra attributes to increase the uh, quality of their model, increase the uh, correctness of their valuation, value, valuation results. And lastly, the China creates a country profile. This country profile is specifically developed for valuation of rural, valuation and taxation of rural properties. They use the basic classes of uh, LED and valuation information class and add their specification to the model. And the last topic I would like to touch on the 3D aspects in the property evaluation. The 3D interest in using 3D data, 3D information property processes has been increasing in last years. And this uh, interest can be grouped in two main categories. The first group is the supporting mathematical models with different variables through using uh, using 3D data sets and 3D GIS analysis in order to better estimate the values of properties. So in this first group, the 3D data sets is used to uh, 3D data sets and GIS analysis is used to create some variables to support mathematical models and this is for to better estimate the correctness of the uh, values can be increased by with these new variables in the second category the visualization of the models uh, the Data models, cons, uh, cons, 3D data models are consumed to visualize the valuation units in 3D. And this 3D visualized, visualized valuation units is used to disseminate property values and associate with their visualized units. I will show some example for the second uh, group. So in the first group, there are several studies I know you also saw this slide yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, there are several studies that use 
that search different types of uh, 3D data sets to better estimate the property values. For example, in the most studies, 3D V1 analysis is used uh, to better estimate the property values. In some studies, the 3D noise analysis is used. Uh, uh, in, in, I can only find one study to use 3D hazard analysis and 3D crime analysis and the 3D insulation analysis to better estimate the uh, property values. And some several studies used the 3D distance uh, analysis, 3D distance characteristics of properties to better estimate the property values. Uh, I should note that the most used 3D analysis to drive characteristics of properties is the 3D V analysis. And the V is also the most, uh, it, the V can change the property values dramatically rather than the noise or the distance uh, characteristics. So there are many studies to use Weave uh, to better estimate the property values. In the studies, the effects of different type of Weaves to value are searched. For example, the, if your property has a sea weave or lake weave or an ocean weave, is it's uh, generally increase the property values. If your property have a uh, road rail uh, railway or industrial weave, is it decreases the property values generally. These are these. Results are depends on the location, for sure. But the sea weave, lake weave, ocean weave, forest weave are generally increase the property values. As you can see, different types of properties are searched, mostly single family residential properties, weave of single, the effects on values on single family residential properties. There is only one study that searched the length at the end, the we, how we of length uh, affects the property values. And different weave measures are used in different studies. For example, general weave shed analysis is used. In some studies, the weave angle used, for example, in weave angle, uh, in beam angle studies, it is stated that, for example, this property have 30 degree of C weave. And based on this output, the property values are uh, calculated. In different studies, different obstacle model is used to uh, specify the properties weave. Different observer heights are used, different outer radius for the V1 and is, is used. And using this table, we propose some extension to uh, LED emulation information model. We saw that different uh, parameters can be used in all types of characteristics. For example, one can use V sheet analysis, one can use uh, weave angle. This may change the uh, analysis results and therefore the property values. So we propose some 3D profiles for the external characteristics of the property. Uh, we propose one external profile for the distance characteristics one for the weave characteristics, one for the noise, and one for the external group characteristics. This char the external group characteristics are expect aspect of the uh, land, slope of the land, 
environmental amenity and environmental risk. Uh, this class has these characteristics. Slope and aspects are not meaningful for the for a piece of land or a for a valuation unit, only evaluation. These uh, characteristics is more meaningful for a group of properties. So we create an extra 3D profile for the external group characteristics. Uh, for example, in a developing uh, area, the view, on a, the view of the property can change in two years, in three years. So in a developing area, you should uh, determine the proper, uh, the view of the property in every three year or four year, five years. So you should make this view analysis for every five year. So it is the found important to also uh, record the used parameters for the view analysis, which may dramatically affect the uh, view, uh, view outputs of the uh, JS analysis. The second part of the 3D aspects of the uh, 3D aspects in the property evaluation is the visualization and dissemination. Once uh, for this, we should uh, first mention the LADM implementation. LADM implementation includes uh, country profile and realizing the country profile with the database schema or a database and data exchange formats such as XML or GML and user interface for edit and disseminating for this information. For the developed country profiles, um, for the uh, Turkish country profile and the Netherlands country profile, uh, we developed some database schema and we developed some prototype uh, web-based 3D user interface for the visualization, 3D visualization and dissemination of uh, valuation information. I will show some example of those prototypes. Uh, for example, this 3D building, 3D value map is based on the Turkish country profile of the LAD evaluation information model. Firstly, a PostgreSQL PostGIS database is created. Then the database schema is populated with uh, real data. The building, the tax values of the buildings for the 2002 are calculated and stored in the database. And then A session-based uh, session application is created. This figure shows the uh, value range of the selected study area. The red is more higher tax value. The yellow are, yellow are the less tax values. The, there is in the figure, there is a green circle. This green circle shows the uh, uh, building with the highest tax value in the study area. So if you create a, a country profile and based on this country profile, if you uh, develop a database schema, you can use this database schema to create such uh, 3D valuation maps. This is another example. Uh, this in this uh, part of the prototype, we serve the tax values of condominium units together with the input information used in the uh, valuation processes in Turkey. You can see the right hand side the uh, value of the condominium, the value type tax value, the assessed value is. 
specified. The condominium use is the residential use. The condominium main part, and you can see the condominium main part has a accessory part garage. This accessory part garage has also have a value of 5,000 Turkish dirhams, the value of accessory part. Uh, the gross floor area of the property, uh, revaluation rates and revaluation, revaluation date are also included this in this prototype, are sort in this prototype. So recently, we, we are working on the aggregation of the valuation units in the valuation unit groups. Valuation units can be aggregated, aggregating according to use types and valuation unit group types. Aggregation valuation units into groups can be considered as the implementation of the level of detail concept in visualization of valuation information. So we define six, uh, eight different levels uh, for the aggregation of valuation units, the single unit, floor, building, street, neighborhood, district, uh, city, and the country levels. Uh, is each level may have different characteristics in the visualization prototype. For example, in the city level, you can uh, disseminate the average values of the valuation units that have similar use types. Uh, for example, the indices created for sales sale price indices can be seen as a still level implementation of the this uh, proposed aggregation of valuation units. In the street level, the minimum, maximum, and average values of the valuation units can be uh, presented via the prototype. In the apartment building level, the total average values of the apartments can be shared in the prototype. In the Turkish example, the, in the prototype developed for developed using the Turkish country profile, we developed only three levels, the single unit level, you can show the single, you can see the single levels of the properties, you can see the, you can select the building, and you can show the uh, unit cost price uh, of the building because in Turkey, the cost approach is used to uh, value the building. Therefore, we add their uh, unit cost price per square meter. And the third level we implemented, the neighborhood level implementation. We, we I mentioned this few we show the, the color code shows the tax values increasement in the neighborhood area in this neighborhood area. For the Netherlands, we also developed uh, as as I mentioned, we developed the country profile for the Netherlands, and we based on those this country profile, we produced some database schema, and based on those. We populated this uh, database schema with real inf real data sets. In the Netherlands, we specify 10 different administrative levels uh, for the implementation. And for each level, we uh, specify the different attributes. Uh, for the Prototype, we select the paper direct town in the pro province of South Holland. Uh, you can see how it looks in the Vos Weaver, in the building values shown in the 2D uh, geometries. This is the selected building uh, for the prototype. I should note that this is an ongoing study. We only uh, visualized four attached building so far, and we implemented only two levels, the condominium and the building, uh, the single units and the building level. 
These prototypes include the values starting from 2013 to 2012. Uh, for example, when you click a single unit in the building, the attributes of the residence units and its values in 2017 shown in this figure, you can also reach the value in 2020. This is the single unit implementation of the proposed uh, aggregation approach. And lastly, this the building uh, level implementation is done. When you click the building, you, you can show the uh, minimum maximum area in the building, minimum mean value in the building, uh, construction year of the building, you can reach that kind of attributes about the buildings. We will implement all these 10 uh, levels for the Netherlands. Firstly, for the, we are planning to implement all these different levels for the paper direct. And maybe the, the approach we use to develop this prototype can be extended to cover all the Netherlands in the future. Thank you for your attention. Uh, Abdullah, thank you very much. You squeezed in a lot of information about valuation, which is a profession and a discipline in itself. It's complete on education programs. And it is really tough to put it in uh, yeah, a guest lecture. Yes. I hope it was... Uh, yeah, showing the essentials of valuation and what information is uh, now to be represented in this uh, new valuation information model. I know we are over time, but I would like to give also uh, yeah, the audience, the students, uh, the opportunity to ask a question to uh, Abdullah, before we close the session. Oh, yeah, I had uh, two small questions. Um, could you go to the slide with the, the view of uh, the buildings in Turkey with the valuations yes. of the city? The neighborhood. Yeah. In the neighborhood, yeah. No, a little bit further. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, I can see that some are, even though they are situated in the same area, they are a lot more, well, they're, they're more dark reds. And could you like, I mean, is that like a, a, an error or is it really a reasonable explanation for these outliers, basically? Or could you instantly say that there's a... Uh, no, there is no error there. Uh, oh, okay. the, I searched specifically why these are such threats and found out that the property floor areas are higher than the other buildings. The oh, property okay. uh, floor area is dramatically changed the uh, uh, property values in a building in Turkey. Okay. So that is the main reason. Okay. Yes. So maybe we should have a relative value. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. The yeah, absolute yeah, value, yeah. but yeah. the yeah, value yeah, divided yeah. by size or something. Yes. But okay, both have uh, their meaning. Second question, Rohit. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, about uh, the, you also said something about uh, the few shed analysis is done every five years, something something like that. I don't know, like a few analysis or few. Yes, uh, but also for example, um, if you would use this model, um, uh, for uh, does it have any well uh, legal? Can uh, citizens uh, derive any legal, um, you know, value from it because. If you would have every year, you would have different types of uh, policy changes, etc. And how do you make sure that it's it's timely, it's accurate, and it's still it might be used to file a, a appeal to the the VOZ value, the VOS value that the government has decided? I mean, is it is it how do you how do you make sure that it's it's accurate and timely? 
even though there's changes every year, every five year, every that's basically yeah, yeah something. The actually the LED emulation model is only for define and structure the valuation information. Uh, for example, uh, in the LED uh, Netherlands country country profile, we created country profile for the VOS value. Yes. The VOS value is defined by the legislation. We use that that uh, type of that information defined in the legislation. Uh, but, so exactly for this uh, spatial analysis or no, I actually mean that it's, it's directly derived from the, the value itself. And it will be updated when the value is updated. Or yeah. is it separately because... Yeah, how how the how will you calculate it is out of scope of this model, actually. The ah, okay. yeah. mathematical, models is crea mathematical models are created uh, by universities, by municipalities, by private firms, but actually they have not shared their mathematical models generally, but they uh, include. We can guess what they uh, include, but we don't know exactly what they include. So this model actually is about how can we uh, record information to support valuation activities to increase the uh, correctness of the valuation processes but not the uh, calculation of the properties okay yes no, so it's a direct a direct uh, derivation of the the was value basically yeah. okay yes, yes. And okay. So which regulations does not state uh, how to compute uh, this annual was value no. it just says okay it has to be the market value and then every municipality is figuring out okay what is the best way uh, to make this uh, guess for every property sometimes they do it themselves sometimes they hire companies because and the only mechanism is uh, complaining uh, so yes. uh, citizens can complain if they think that the value is not correct and if it happens a lot in a municipality, the municipality has a problem uh, because it gives a lot of work. And maybe it had a waarderingskamer will notice that they got a lot of complaints. Yeah. And they, yeah, that are urged to do better the job. But there is no specification how they should determine uh, this value. And uh, if there is development and your view is destroyed because uh, somewhere in your neighborhood there is a, a tall buildings are being created yeah you should see the value drop but how that is computed is it computed by view shared analysis maybe is it computed by looking at uh, the sale prices of the houses in that last year and neighboring your property uh, probably they would also go down because of the tall neighbor buildings uh, that is uh, not stated, so it's not transparent. You don't know. Uh, you but the number will stay the same. The number will say, stay the same. It, it, it should go down. Yeah, it will go down, the value. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. you, it's, it's only a single number in the end. <laughs> and, yes. and the market trend may be going up, but then locally, due to the neighborhood uh, that is being having a, a lesser view, you get a um, deviation from the more global trends and uh, have a lower value than expected. So yeah, really tricky business, this <laughs> valuation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we have to conclude. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe Rohit could to contact Abdullah directly to have a more... Uh, I'll see him on Friday, sir. <laughs> you, you'll see him on ah, Friday, good. I am... Last two sentences. In 2018, the 10% of the VOS values are appealed. Yeah, That's a lot. Actually, yeah. Yeah, by the number. <laughs> yeah. And Rohit, I just remembered that the next Friday I will go to the uh, Croatia for the LADM workshop. Oh, you're already going to Croatia. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Next Friday, I will be in Croatia. So if you have time on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, next week? Is it Monday? Yeah, yeah, next week. Oh, yes, yeah. Monday is also good next week, yeah. Okay, on Monday, yeah. I will be 